we're going to do the word study here. Outside today, it's a bit chilly and windy, but the weather's slowly improving. It takes some time here in April. It's getting there. But I want to uh, share this next one here on the name Paul. From the keyword concordance, we get the definition. The Greek is Paulos, a name given to Saul of Tarsus after his separation to a special ministry. His three subsequent ministries were justification from Romans chapter 1 through chapter 4, conciliation, Romans chapter 5 through chapter 8, and 1 Corinthians through 2 Corinthians, and the present secret administration in Ephesians. All are associated with this new with this new name, Paul, and all his epistles begin with that name. It is derived from the root cease and indicates the present I interval, marking the cessation of divine dealing with Israel until God restores them to himself. We took the concordant scripture out of everything except the book of Acts, because there's a ton in the book of Acts. But um, I just want em to emphasize, basically, Paul in different categories here. And it just works very well from the scriptural viewpoint. And we're going to start with Paul, a slave. Romans chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, a called apostle, severed for the evangel of God. Philippians 1, 1. Paul and Timothy, slaves of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, together with the supervisors and servants. Titus 1, 1. Paul, a slave of God, yet an apostle of Jesus Christ, in accord with the faith of God's chosen and a realization of the truth, which accords... With devoutness. The next category, Paul an apostle. First Corinthians one one. Paul a call Paul a called apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God and Sothenes a brother. Second Corinthians one one. Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God and brother Timothy to the ecclesia of God which is in Corinth, together with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia. Galatians 1 1 Paul an apostle not from men neither through a man but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who rouses him from among the dead Ephesians 1 1 Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God to all the saints who are also believers in Christ Jesus Colossians 1 1 Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God and brother Timothy 1 Timothy 1.1, 1, 1, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, according to the injunction of God, our Savior, and the Lord Jesus Christ, our expectation. And 2 Timothy 1.1, 1, 1, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, through the will of God, in accord with the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. Next category is salutation. 1 Corinthians 16.21, the salutation is by my hand, Paul's. Colossians 4.18, the salutation is by my hand, Paul's. Remember my bonds, grace be with you, amen. Verse Thessalonians 3.17, the salutation is by my hand, Paul's, which is a sign in every epistle, thus I am writing, am I writing. And the next category is just subsequent scripture associated with the name Paul. 1 Corinthians 1, 12 through 13. Now I'm saying this, to, that to each, that each of you is saying, I indeed am of Paul, yet I of Apollos, yet I of Cephas, yet I of Christ. Christ is parted, not Paul was crucified for your sakes, or into the name of Paul are you baptized. 1 Corinthians 3, 5. What then is Apollos? Now what is Paul? Servants are they through whom you believe, and as the Lord gives to each. 1 Corinthians 3, 22, 22 through 23. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or that which is impending, all is yours, yet you are Christ's, yet Christ is God's. 2 Corinthians 10, 1. 
Now I, Paul, myself, am entreating you through the meekness and leniency of Christ, who as to personal appearance indeed am humble among you, yet being absent have courage toward you. Galatians 5.2 Lo, I, Paul, am saying to you that if you should be circumcising, Christ will benefit you nothing. Ephesians 3.1 on this behalf, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you, the nations. Colossians 1.23 Since surely you are persisting in the faith, grounded and settled, and are not being removed from the expectation of the evangel, which you hear, which is being heralded in the entire creation, which is under heaven, of which I, Paul, became the dispenser. 1 Thessalonians 2.18 Because we want you to because we want to come to you, uh, indeed I, Paul, once, even twice, and Satan hinders us. The last one, Philemon 19, I, Paul, I write with my own hand, I will refund it, not that I may say to you that you are owing me even yourself. So there you have it. The name Paul simply means to cease or interval so we understand a little bit better clearer from the scriptures that paul was an apostle to the nations and he's our apostle the very first member of the body of christ